Welcome to Streaming Deluxe, my friends. Welcome to this Remote Play Together special. So, yeah, it's actually uh, it's actually amazing that Steam is continuing to improve themselves. And, uh, and to celebrate this, they have today or the weekend, uh, they have a sale where you can find the best local multiplayer games. Why local multiplayer games? So it's the local multiplayer games that you can't play if you don't have friends at home or family and friends at home. So if you're someone that sits all alone in his dark, uh, in his dark room, in his dark room, uh, uh, with his computer and only plays online multiplayer games, then mostly you not going to be able to play those games. And Valve changed this, so they uh, have a new function where it's possible actually to play in a remote way, so you can play with your Steam friends, you can play games that are actually only uh, made for local multiplayer and not for online multiplayer. So I, I liked my own, uh, I liked local multiplayer a lot when I was younger, when I was playing uh, Nintendo 64, PlayStation or Super Nintendo. So I really, I really loved this. So it was the best time uh, playing with my best friend at this time, uh, playing local multiplayer games like Uni Racer, Uni Rally, Mario Kart, all of those. So of course at this time we didn't have any possibilities to play online. Or maybe with a PC, but not on consoles. Uh, nowadays, I don't really play uh, local multiplayer games, but uh, therefore, this is and therefore, I'm actually not being able to play those those local multiplayer games. And then they are more or less, uh, yeah, I'm not really using using all their functions. All right, so um, that's about the multi remote multiplayer or play together. Uh, play your couch corp games with friends over the internet together, so this sums it up very easily. And let's check out this uh, awesome little sale that Steam is uh, organizing in this regard. So there are actually a lot of games that I don't own, and uh, that's that's funny because normally I, I see so many games that I own, and the first game I see immediately is Towerfall Ascension. So this is uh, one of the most popular. Um, uh, local multiplayer uh, title, so it's at the moment 75% down, overwhelmingly positive, so I guess this is one of the games that's a must-have to try out the remote multiplayer. Then also a uh, very interesting game is Crawl, uh, that's 50% down, and then uh, we have uh, Saboteur, I never heard about this, Flat Heroes, also didn't hear about this. So Spelunky, of course, is a classic. It's now for two, two euros uh, uh, 74, so 85 percent down. So definitely a recommendation. Then Unrailed is it's a bit more new. So I really think this game could be nice. I don't own it myself yet. Then we have Death Road Canada, which is also 55 percent down. So I have it on my wish list. It's definitely also a game that I'm uh, looking forward to play at one time. So will I buy it now here at the Steam sale? I'm not so sure. And then of course another, uh, yeah, the, the mascots here, you see it already. So it's Cuphead. Don't deal with the devil. And it's only 25% down. Which is indeed not a lot, but uh, yeah, it's still 15 euros. So still, uh, still a proud price. Uh, but... Uh, at, at one point, so I'm waiting for this game to buy it when it's like, well, it's like 10, 10 euros, 10 dollars, so it's going to be 50% down. So that's uh, the point where I'm going to buy a Cuphead. And uh, I have to admit that I think at the moment it's a little bit expensive. But, and it's uh, very difficult, so that's also the point <laughs> why I'm a bit more reluctant. Then what do we have here? Uh, 99. Sense game, Bleep Blob, then also another cheap game, Death Squared, never heard about this, Wilman's Warehouse, this looks very colorful, and then we have Chariot or Chariot in French, so this looks also very nice, 75% down, so this is definitely also an interesting title, so I really like the graphics, so I can click on it to show it to you. A bit better and then from all, yeah from all the remote play together games you already always see them here uh, this little banner and then you 
uh, see which games can be played together. So this looks extremely cute and extremely nice. So this is the game that I consider purchasing here on this Steam sale, special sale event. And then we have Dio. This is also a game I never heard about. I don't even have it on my wish list. And you know, if you know my channel, I have incredible so many games I make previews. So I have a lot of indie games uh, and uh, yeah, actually, <laughs> I should know I should know games like this, but it's sometimes amazing. So never heard about this before. Looks interesting. Why not? Dio, Dio. Then decrease of separation. This seems to be also nice games. Eighty percent down. Never heard about this myself either. So here again, you see. So it's a nice mix between yeah, the, the the warm color and the, and the more cold color. So blue red. And I guess you have to uh, solve puzzles together. Seems to be a bit more casual, family friendly game. And then what we have here is Carly and the Reaper Man. Never heard about this either. So it's a VR game. Very cool. Very cool, actually. Indeed. So a VR game that you can play uh, with remote control. That's also interesting. So those are the Puzzle Corp games. I'm not a big puzzle gamer. Those are the four player. Plus games, so they are definitely Tower Fall Ascension for three euro seventy four. So I guess that's finally a game that I can then purchase. And then we have the Campaign Corp game. So this is a, a bit more my my style of games, games that I like. So there are of course Cuphead, uh, Guacamele two. So eighty percent down. This is actually oh, that's actually a pretty good price. So then we have. Uh, Super Cane Magic Zero this looks interesting. Riverbond, still expensive those games. I would wait for a sale to get them cheaper than an NES game. <laughs> Michael Majors, never heard about this either. And Travis Strikes Again, okay, that's pretty expensive. Then Twin Cop, oh, this looks cool, yeah. A twin Stick Shooter. Slap some beans, bounce, bounce on Terrence Hill, yeah, that's for fans. And then we have Unruly Heroes, where we... Oh, this looks very good, so they seem to have a lot of awards. Great, great graphics, great graphics. This looks indeed very good. Ooh, yeah. 13 euros, still, still a proud price, still a proud price. Then we have Cat Quest, I totally recommend it, you find videos about this game on my channel. Then we have Shovel Knight, also a recommendation, of course. Treasure Trove. I think that's the new one. Yeah, that's the new one. Then the old Guacamele. I oh, know that's the old one. I have it already in my library. And yeah, the old Guacamele, cheaper price, so definitely uh, worth to check out. And then Hyper Light Drifter. It's a little bit weird, so it's not really yeah, 14, 15 euros, so it doesn't have. Uh, the, it's not on sale. That's a little bit weird. Replayable co-op game. So what what means replayable here? So enter enter the gungeon definitely worth it. Great game. Moon Hunters, Moon Hunters is a good game. I like it. A little bit disappointing maybe, but it's okay. Then Black Future, a nice cyberpunk title. So it just came out 18 euros. So definitely very high on my wish list. So I will buy this at one point. And uh, Children of Mortar also very interesting. Good. Game Risk of Rain, of course, the first one. That's a classic. Unfortunately, not on sale. Then Lightspear. Lightspear is uh, or Lightspear, Lichtspear. <laughs> yeah, it's actually in German. So oh, that's really funny. So I really enjoyed this one. I played it and I also uploaded a video about this. And then uh, yeah, Crypt of the Necro Dancer. It's just not for me. I would uh, say. Then we have versus games, so most of them uh, we already talked about. Maybe Pyre, Pyre or Pure is still. Ah, that's a good price now, six euros. Very interesting title for this price. And of course, you can always click on show more than you see other games. But I'm uh, now staying now with the best, best deals, so what Steam thinks are the best deals in this regard. So not clicking now on show more. But uh, of course, I recommend you to do this. And then we have the Lego games. If you're a LEGO games fan, check those out. Uh, I'm not the biggest LEGO gamer. As you can see, I actually almost don't own any of them. I got on Epic Game Store actually, I got the LEGO Batman games, I think, for free. So, before I close this video, I want to uh, show you about a little bit more about um, 
about the remote play and uh, Steam has here if you click that on remote play you can read a little bit more about this and this might be interesting for you if you uh, if you consider to play it and then you see how this actually one of life's works. greatest past so maybe it's in we'll control friends. but control has only reached so far sometimes it's hard to get everyone in one place and sometimes people move away or you make new friends who don't live near you what do you do when your buddies are farther than you can swing a controller? You use Remote Play Together, a new multiplayer Steam feature that lets you and your friends play party games over the internet together. Now party gaming has never been easier. Simply fire up your game, then invite a Steam friend to join in the fun. It's that easy. Once your pal accepts, boom, you're gaming together. Your friend doesn't even need to own the game or have it installed. Their controllers will act like they're plugged directly into your computer, or you can share the keyboard and mouse. Now all your local multiplayer games are playable online. Check out our growing list of compatible games on Steam, and keep the party going with Remote Play Together. Yeah, well, nice video for a bait by Steam about uh, what remote play together is so yeah very important you can play it very quickly easily so you you go uh, for example then on your steam invite your friends list and then you invite the person to remote play together very simple and the person does not even need to have the game so does not even need to have the game that's that's kind of cool and then you play it so and then you can talk to each other you can chat with each other etc everything it's possible so play local multiplayer games with steam friends online even when the game doesn't natively support online play stream video audio voice between players within milliseconds using a fast internet connection yeah of course you need a fast internet connection otherwise uh, i mean that's the whole goal of online gaming Control the game each game game each using your own controllers, share control of keyboard and mouse, that's very funny. And then enjoy cross-platform play, even when the game doesn't nat natively support mobile devices or the other players' operating system. So that's actually now a little bit more interesting. So you can as far as I understood, you can actually uh, couple it with remote play anywhere so still you need to it's like streaming then the game so you, you stream it for example on on your mobile phone if I understood this correctly you can stream yeah you stream a remote play game on your mobile phone so this is actually not even possible to play so that's really cool so play together anywhere you have to download then the app of course uh, the mobile phone app so that's where it's necessary, otherwise you can't play it. Uh, oh, a custom low latency network protocol. So it's actually more or less already a streaming service. So with Stadia coming out as a streaming service, so Steam already has its own kind of streaming service here. A little bit more uh, concentrated now on those uh, local multiplayer games, which are also mostly indie games. So it's not like you, you're streaming uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 or something like this. Uh, of course not. So when you play a game using remote play, video audio are sent from your gaming PC to another device. Remote input and multiplayer voice are sent back to the gaming PC all within milliseconds. You can turn, yeah, you can tune streaming resolution and bitrate for the best experience on your setup with advanced settings. Over 5 GHz network, our target is a resolution of 1080p at 60 frames per second with good quality for most scenes if you have a powerful gaming rig a wired network and a capable client device it's possible to stream 4k at 60 fps Woo! not too bad huh? not too bad well that's it so that's my video about a remote play and the steam sale event of course to it i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you yeah maybe we see each other playing a local multiplayer game together so why not this could be fun and then yeah to the next time my friends have a wonderful day bye bye